In the quick sort algorithm, we sort the array by selecting a pivot element. The pivot can be chosen in several ways, such as a random element, the middle element, or the last element. In our case, we will choose the last element as the pivot. Here, that's the value 25. The idea is to rearrange the array so that all elements smaller than the pivot move to the left and all larger elements move to the right, represented by blue and red colors respectively. We then recursively apply the same steps to both halves until each subarray has only one element, which is considered already sorted. Now, in the best or average case, that is when the array is divided into roughly two equal halves, the recurrence relation looks like this. Rearranging the elements around the pivot takes O of n time. And if we solve this recurrence, the total time complexity comes out to be O of n log n. As for space complexity, the rearrangement happens in place, so it does not require any extra memory. The only space used comes from the recursion stack, which goes up to log n levels deep in the best and average case. This stack space is a direct result of how recursion works. Now, in the worst case, that is when the pivot is always either the largest or the smallest element, the array does not get divided into halves. Instead, it becomes completely one-sided after each partition. In this scenario, both the time and space complexity degrade significantly. The time complexity becomes O of n square and the space complexity increases to O of n due to the recursion stack growing linearly with the input size. Now, the code for quick sort is actually quite simple. We begin by writing the partition function first, which is the core part of the algorithm. This function takes three inputs, the array itself, the low index and the high index. First, we create a variable to store the last element as the pivot. We also initialize a variable i to low minus 1. Then we run a loop from low to high. Inside the loop, if the current element is less than or equal to the pivot, we increment i and swap the elements at indices i and j. After the loop ends, we swap the pivot element with the element at i plus 1. And finally, we return i plus 1, which will be used by the quick sort function to divide the array into subarrays. Next, we move on to the actual quick sort function. Start by defining the function with the array and the low and high indexes as input parameters. If low is less than high, create a variable called pivot index and set it to the result of calling the partition function with the array, low and high inputs. The partition function will return the index of the pivot element after the rearrangement. Then recursively call the quick sort function on both the left and the right parts of the array. This process will continue until the entire array is sorted. And finally, you can test the code using these lines.